All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi. If you're watching this uh, in the future, we're probably not live right now. You're watching the VOD of Crossout, but technically I'm live right now, but not really. <laughs> anyway, it's hard to explain. Today we're going to be building a Leviathan, one of the biggest tanks available in the game. I didn't need the guys around to do this one, so I figured I'd do this on my own here. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I have some other stuff planned for uh, Postscriptum and some other games coming up on the weekend. So hi to Carter, Nathan, Dakota, James, Tzing. Uh, Aiden, good to see you all in chat, just to name a few. Again, if you guys like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Your name should pop up right over. I can learn my directions. There. I swear. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, over here. It'll Right here. This, this area here, that's where it'll pop up. So if you uh, subscribe during the stream, that's where it'll come from. Hey, Hi, everyone in chat. There you go. See? Cool boy. Well, okay. Somewhere over here. Somewhere on the screen, cool boy popped up. <laughs> all right. Let's get into cross out with the magic finger. Here we go into cross out. Wonderful. That Elgato stream deck is awesome. I love that thing. So today we're building ourselves a gigantic tank or possibly a giant spider, one of the two. We'll figure it out, but we have plenty of stuff to build here for the biggest tank in the game. So the difference here in cross out of building a different vehicle uh, from a regular battle vehicle uh, to a hey, Leviathan is that out. you can build a ton of huge, like a unlimited power score. It's incredible. Sean, thanks for subscribing. Hey, so, um, and Log and the Beast, thanks for subscribing too. So if you guys want to download this one, it is free in the description. So check down in the description. Hey, you guys can download this one out. right now free of charge and uh, Roblox welcome aboard good to have you all here all right I'm gonna spend the next hour building this tank with you guys and testing it out so we're gonna be doing some big building so let's first of all see what it's like with this thing not even having any guns on it at all this is our platform this is our tank this is where we're going to build a giant battle vehicle now again we don't have to have treads we don't have to have we can have wheels that kind of thing we can have a low profile and sneak under vehicles like this check that out boom didn't even see it coming so that kind of thing so that's actually very cool and you see we got our extra engine in the back. Man, what is that, a V12 back there? Look at that, 246 on either side. Man, that's a big O. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start building something. What we can do is we can test out. Now, with this cabin, we get hey, a bonus there. Shout out. Captain Kirk, thanks for subbing, too. So on that right side, you see where it says maximum mechanical leg speed increased by hey, 40%. Shout out. We can get a, a super turbo fast spider moving here real quick. Let's try that. Let's try some spider legs and see how it works with the speed ray. All right, let's go ahead and pop a couple of these legs on then. Now, of course, the nicest thing about spider legs is they're very difficult to destroy. They're hard to hit, and even if you do land a hit, uh, they're very difficult to destroy. So that could be a good thing for a Leviathan. Um, so there you go. You got the merchandise. Excellent. Yeah, we do have a Teespring store in the description if you're interested in that. Welcome aboard to all of our sponsors, super chatters, subscribers. You guys are Fantastic. Thanks for tuning in here. Yeah, we're building, that's for sure. All right, let's see how this thing turns out. Uh, oh, I don't want to deploy. Oops. All right, I want to see how this thing works. Oh, look at that. Well, it's almost faster than the... Uh, oh, it's almost faster than when we put treads on it. Look at that. Takes a while to turn, but... Hey, subscriber shout out. She's a beast. The racer, thanks for subscribing. And still pretty low to the ground, despite it being up off the ground with the legs. There ain't no snow drift stopping you here. Stay wide. Thanks for your support. He says Raptor is awesome. Don't lie in chat. Stay wide. That, that, come on now. Don't lie. Just teasing. Let's take a look at center of mass. Oh, yeah. It's right there. Right in the center. Very nice. All right. Let's see this thing go over a jump. You guys ever see a spider go off a jump before? Let's see what happens. Welcome to the notification squad, people, too. Good to have you all here. going to try to go off this center jump here. Oh, now it's a turtle tank. Oh, no, the turtle tank is down. Oh, no. All right, let's build some stuff onto the uh, the tank. So what do you guys think? I think we should keep the legs. I want to I try to keep the legs. But we can always switch over to a... Uh... Oh, man, look at that thing turn. Man, it's like a crab or something. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, look at the dude in the crab walk. Look at the crab walk. Oh, I know, the little little turtle having a rough day, I know. Actually, that's a very cool thing about this vehicle is that it's it's almost like the hover tanks, except it just takes a little bit to go, and then it, it doesn't have as high of a top speed. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, let's let's keep legs for now, and then we'll switch over to some tracks here in a little bit or some uh, tank treads. Okay. So we've got this thing pretty much lined. Oh, it's not even centered. Oh, Raptor, you noob. 
Hey, subscriber shout out. There we go. Gamer Studio, welcome aboard. Actually, this being lifted off and away from the chassis like this gives us a lot better armor that we can build between the uh, outside and the inside of the vehicle. So there we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, the, the way is down below in the description where you can download this for free. That's, that's a pretty good way, I'd say. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, we need to put weapons on this bad boy. I think we should probably go for cannons and such, which means we probably should have some sort of an ammo pack. We'll put that in the front. And uh, all this stuff we have to keep... There's a lot of important stuff here. The engine, the cabin, the ammunition. We have to keep all that protected. So we probably should put our vulnerable stuff down first. Um, what else is vulnerable here? What other tools can we put on board this thing? Ah, oh, we can put some more generators down. Oh, you know what? Actually, we have some gambling to do tonight, everyone. Let's go to the storage, and let's uh, open up one of our... We have a storage crate uh, from our earlier unlocking. Let's see if we have ourselves a crate. You always get garbage in these things. They're always so disappointing, so I'm already going to... I'm already going to... Let's go into... I'm going to go into pre-disappointment mode. Shocking, a carjack. Wow. I'm so surprised. Oh, my God. Can you guys believe it? All right, let's try again. Pre-disappointment mode. Here we go. Oh my god, what's it going to be, guys? I bet it'll be something amazing. Oh, it's going to be so awesome. I bet it's going to be... Oh, what? The basic uh, the basic cabin everyone gets? No way. Come on, guys. This is the adventure crate. Let's get some excitement here. Oh my god, I bet it's going to be big. I bet it's going to be something blue, right? Or is it going to be white again? Oh my god, a radar? Oh my god, I'm so shocked. All right, let's try one more time. Oh my god, could you guys believe this? I can't believe we got duped. Three times, four times in a row, we got something that everyone gets. Oh my god, the small wheel. Can you believe it? <laughs> these things suck, I told you. <laughs> They're horrible, these crates. Well, at least we can trade it. It's fine. All right, well, as you guys saw all the cool stuff pass by, you always... It's, it's like the claw machine at a restaurant. You always just get disappointed. It just it never works out. And even when you do get something out of that box, you only get it for like a couple hours. So it's like... Why, why even play? Why, why play? Why you do this? Why? What these? All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started then with the. I know the small wheels. If any, oh wow, well look at that. We we sold it for six cents minus the one penny to the gov the government. All right, let's see if we can uh, put some cool stuff on this thing now. First of all, what you want to do is you probably want to put down all your stuff in there first, and then you want to add armor around it. Otherwise, it becomes very difficult. So let's start by adding our stuff. Um, all right, so radios are important. In fact, the most important thing on this vehicle is probably the radar. Uh, you do need a very good radar on these vehicles in order to engage enemy vehicles. Otherwise, the vehicle can't see. Now, how, how this works is when you build the Leviathan, the AI takes over your guns. So you have to make sure that um, basically you can see the enemy. you you got to be able to you know, have them visibly uh, detected by the radar. Without the radar, your tank or your vehicle won't be able to see. So you should probably build a couple of them just in case the enemy destroys one. Uh, so we'll put those down in a second. Uh, we have the chameleons, which are a good cloaking device. There's the light generator. Again, you only get it for two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, 350 damage. So we can get a heavy generator to get more guns. That might be useful. Uh, let's see what else we got for... Uh, let's see, decoration, paint. We'll come back. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what? We seem to have another box. Let us play Let us play this game again. Oh, can you believe it, guys? I got duped again. Oh, my God. The fifth time in a row we got something white. It's one of those, the common level. Oh, my God. We actually did get something decent. Very nice. Uh, reduces weapon, weapon heating rate by 50%. Avex stacks. Oh, that's actually a decent thing for once. All right. Let's go with that. I'm actually going to claim that. But it stinks. Why does it only stay for two hours? It's It sucks. Like... That means you gotta, in order to get the most use out of that, you gotta sit here for two hours and play, otherwise you're gonna lose it. We'll probably use that in another stream. Gaijin, by the way, is uh, presented today's stream too, by the way, which means that they're they're sponsoring me to play this, but uh, I've been playing this game a lot on my own, so if you wanna download Crossout, it is available for you in the description down below. So check it out down below and download it for free. Everything should be good for you to uh, play on uh, PC or maybe even PlayStation. I'm not even sure what systems this is on. I gotta get informed. I only like it on PC though. It seems the best to build on PC. All right, uh, let's figure out what else we're gonna throw in this bad boy, and then we're gonna start building our armor. Building the armor is probably the most important and very fun part of the uh, the build process. 
I feel like we need another generator just to get more guns. Let's see, this one has two energy. Two energy, 700 and... All right, let's try to throw this one on here. Mm. There we go. Okay, we'll probably move that radar at some point. Now, let's see. We probably should add our armor underneath. But what else do we want to put in this thing? All right, this is this is our most important stuff here. This is what will supply our weapons. Oh, an ammo pack, that would be useful. That will add additional uh, firepower to our guns. Put all the ammo up front, and then throw our generator in the back. There we go. All right. Uh, does Raptor live stream every day? Not really, and yeah, family friendly for the most part. Sometimes I get you know a little fired up, but that's all good. Um, yeah, so if you if you guys want to be a part of this stream, remember to hit that subscribe button. Your name will pop up on the stream too, so I can give you a big shout out. And additionally, if you are like uh, Papa Pom or statewide who drops super chats, I'll give you a big shout out as well as if you sponsor too. Cool thing is though, is if you uh, do sponsor us uh, or anything like that, um, you will get access to all those cool emotes and everything as well. So. Cool stuff. Uh, what microphone and webcam do you have? Uh, yeah, that's the uh, Logitech C23, and this is the uh, Blue Yeti microphone as well. I've had this for a very, 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 very long time, so it's all good. All right, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and add on to our equipment in here. Radios we won't need for the purpose of a Leviathan. We could add some more engines, but that wouldn't do much. And we don't need weapon cooldown if I'm going for cannons. If we're going for heavy cannons, these don't need to be cooled down. They just need to have more ammunition. Uh, or the pyre, for example. Which apparently we only have two of, but I know I have more. Oh, there they are. Five. Okay. There's the fat man. A bunch of auto cannons too. You know what would be good is a mix of auto cannon and cannon. That would be a very good mix. So let's go ahead. Oh, we have four of those? Jeez, man. Alright, let's get a bunch of weapon coolers then. Uh, the improved radiator would that'll expire after a while. So let's get some of these these uh, improved radiators, and we'll add all the armor on later. There we go. Oop. Oh yeah, that's that's flush up against. Actually, we should probably m maybe move these around. Yeah, put them in different spots. Yeah, join the Rat Pack. You can hit that subscribe button. Your name will pop up here if, you, if you'd like to be a part of it. <laughs> hey, subscriber shout Nathan out. singing to me in chat. West Virginia, welcome aboard. All right. Hey, so it's going to get really exciting as soon as we put the guns on this thing. It's going to be awesome. Bonnie, welcome. What's up, Brandon? Let's see. We gotta add some more stuff here. Should we start building the armor? Actually, we have a lot of uh, official armor plates. Like, these are things from real tanks. So we actually have some serious armor here. Hmm. Let's see. Right, we need some sort of pieces underneath for armor, too. I'll think of some other stuff to add in a second. Let's start adding some of the armor then. We can add armor slopes underneath. Hmm. Okay, so we got our main chassis ready. We still have some room in the front and the back for extra equipment. So let's go ahead and start encasing the center now. We're going to make like a nice, you know... Nice, uh, I was going to say like a, maybe hey, like a hole here. Shout out. Gamer boy, welcome aboard. Hmm. Trying to think how we should do this. Okay, I think I got it. Now, a lot of this armor we can layer on top of each other, too. 
So it's not like we're just going to have one panel. Uh, where's the crew? They're not here because I, I only... Basically, I'm just building alone, so it would kind of be really not fun for them to be... <laughs> you know, for them to just, like, wait for us to do nothing. The guys are around. Finn is in, uh... I think... He, oh, I forget what, where he went again. Uh, some country... I forget. Bali, I believe. I always forget. All right, let's try to add some stuff to this. Oh, there we go. Now, this is starting to look pretty sweet. I already like it. Hmm, that doesn't fit too well. I don't like that either. How come I can't set it directly on top of the engine? Did I get my 100k plaque? Yeah, it's it's up there. You won't be able to see it, but it's right in front of me. Soon to a million. Anybody who hits that subscribe button gets us one step closer. It's nice to have you all here regardless. It's cool to have some people to hang out with to build tanks. This is the Really, this is seriously everybody's best and favorite part of the game is just like building stuff. I think we're going to put this here. He'll need to make a Twitter account? Yeah, he should. A lot of cool people on Twitter to follow. Good way to get in touch with people, too. We got a Twitter. Boy, this thing seems so small compared to... Uh, other vehicles. I need to figure out how to put some gun platforms down. Hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. I need to build some gun platforms. Out of some better parts, too. We actually have access to better parts for once, so... Hmm, actually, maybe we could put something on the strike plate. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I think those can't go up any further, though. Mm. Alright, here's a gun tower. Oh, there we go. Oh, that doesn't really cover the engine as best as I wished. Well, that looks pretty cool, though. Oh, that's too big. Definitely don't want the radar to be too exposed, but we can hide that behind some cover of some sort. Hmm, let's see what else we can do. Okay, we don't have any more parts for that. Strike plates we're limited on. Ah, APC panels are good. It's actually a good cover all the way down the side. Hmm. Yeah, it actually goes into the leg ports, which is good. I think we want to double down on the armor on that. All right, let's grab this piece and go over to the other side. All right, there we go. Double thick armor where it's going to count on the sides specifically. Let's see. Oh, wow. We get a lot of extra little armor, too. There we go. We can just put these on top. Perfect. Okay, so now we got some serious armor on the sides. This is thickening up nicely. For your birthday, you want Raptor merchandise? Yeah, we do have. Like I said, we have a store. If you're if you're curious to look, a whole Teespring store there for you. Right, we need something more to launch. Well, let's cover the let's cover the main body first, and then we'll focus on guns. Guns are important, but they're not everything. You got to defend yourself first. So basically what's going to happen here is when we design this gigantic tank, other players can play against it and try to destroy it for points. So our goal as a Leviathan is to try to kill as many teams as possible. And those teams' goals are to try to kill my Leviathan in order to get points. So it just comes down to like 
who designed the coolest vehicle, basically. Or the best vehicle. Or the fastest firing vehicle, etc., etc. I feel like we're not giving ourselves a lot of uh, space to shoot from. But we gotta cover the spider first. We'll work on it. We're getting it. Let's see here. Um, I just need more armor panels of some sort. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this strike plate like this. Yeah, actually, the best way to request games and such so that way I don't miss it is to uh, drop a super chat. Uh, it's the best way to just say, hey, love the content, please play blank. Otherwise, a lot of people just kind of spam chat with play this, play this, play this, and nobody really reads it because uh, it just flies by. So a good way to support us and to possibly play your game in the future, your request is uh, by dropping a super chat if you'd like to do so. I feel like we could stack these in the back. Oops. I'll uh, fix that in a second. Well, that seems to be stacked a little high. Maybe we could just go with two of these, though. That doesn't seem to be enough. Got some extra room here. Oh, there we go. Oops. Okay, that's better. I just flipped it upside down. There we go. Okay, that's good. Actually, we could build some gun platforms on the legs. Let's see exactly how fast this thing moves now with all the armor added. Hmm. Not too bad, actually. Let's try to climb it. Oh, look, we're battling another spider. Pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can uh, continue to build. We need to add weapons. We need to add more armor. I'm trying to use as much of this green stuff as possible, this uh, actual APC armor, that kind of thing. Yeah, if you set your subscriptions to public and hit that subscribe button, your name will pop up here. I'm telling you. Everyone's going to know you're a subscriber. It's going to be cool. Lit. Dank. Hmm. Seems like... Wait a minute. The armor doesn't seem to be... I will have to fit some more pieces in there. We have another APC panel we can use. Let's try to use this. So this thing already has a power score of 4,000. And we haven't even added the... It's almost up to 5,000. We have not even added the weapons yet. Each weapon is probably going to be at like 500. Actually, let's take a look at how much guns are. The Avenger 57 millimeter is 600. The 76 millimeter is 925. That's the same thing in the American Sherman tank. And then the 88, for example, was what the Germans used in the giant tiger tank. So that's pretty impressive. ZS-34, hmm, I'm going to say that's probably a 76, and then the pyre fires, um, actually we can throw these all over the top of the tank, these fire uh, lock-on missiles, which would be great, but we got to finish the armor first, so let's focus on that, alright, feel free to drop your suggestions for design too, I don't mind if you guys help. Name it Card Tank Cannon? We gotta name it like something Spider. We gotta name it like the Crab Cannon or something like that. We gotta get that back end defended. Throw the strike plate. That might be a good spot for the strike plate. It's a huge piece. I don't know where else to put it. There seems to be just one spot there for armor. Maybe we could double up on the armor in the back. And we should probably rotate this. 
There we go. Now we can throw some stuff inside there. Okay. Alright, looking good. wonder if we can mount some guns there. Makes me think the APC panel is a little too long, though. Black Widow? Now that's a name, Cameron. That's pretty good. Actually, let's see if we can paint it black. Um, we do have carbon. Sweet. That looks good. We could also... Uh, there's a web camo. That looks pretty cool, too. Let's see what it looks like if we just paint it green. Gross. Don't like that. And what about red? Oh, boy. That, look, that red looks cool. All right, let's paint it uh, regular color for now for our design. And then we'll paint it when we're done. Pretty nice merch. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's good stuff in there if you're interested in picking some of it up. Well, you guys are always talking about the merchandise. Yeah, you know, I got to get myself a Raptor pillow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. We can put these on the sides. Probably best for me to put that in the middle somewhere. Or actually, wait a minute. Now we could put armor that kind of goes like that. Layering on it the sides. Gee, I feel like we're just going to end up with a tank that's just like... All right, it starts from the back and goes up the front. I think we want to do it that way. Oops. Is that how we have it on the other side? Hmm. Okay, that looks about right. Spider Bite? Oh, that's a good name too. Alright, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so you can download uh, both Crossout and War Thunder down below in the description. If it's your first time downloading War Thunder, you'll get uh, access to free premium vehicles too, if you're curious. You can check it out. Good thing about these games is you download them. If you like them, you keep them. If you don't like them, then you uninstall them, and it costs you big fat zero. It doesn't cost you a thing to download and try, and these games are really fun. I mean, seriously, the best part about this game is literally just building a vehicle. Like, literally sitting in your garage and just kind of, like, welding and designing. Not only for aesthetics, but also just for, like, uh, you know, j just, to, just to build is a ton of fun. Just to see if it works. You know, you come up with a crazy idea, like, oh, if I put 17, uh, if I put 150 wheels on my truck, does that, oh, nope, that, that was a bad idea, but it was funny. You know, you have a good time. I like that. Uh, we got to start adding some weapons at some point. Or platforms for weapons. Mm, you know what we could do, actually? One thing I didn't think about is, can we can we aim these guns upside down? <gasps> oh my god, we can. Look at that. That means if vehicles attack from the side, they're just going to get shot when they're trying to attack the wheels. This could be pretty sweet. This is going to be really cool. Alright, we're on to something now. Let's try to throw one on the other side, too. Alright, I think that's good. How much power do we have? We have 64 points of power to use, so we're, it's not like we're going to run out. Fortified undercarriage? Yeah, there's some... The thing about Leviathans, though, is they, they purposely make you have weaknesses. They only give you so many points, so you can't do everything. But the most important thing is to kill enemy teams, so make sure you add more weapons than armor sometimes. All right, let's give this a try. As this thing comes out, it's going to start shooting. Yep. Oh, that's nice, and it just blew that vehicle up. That's pretty sweet. Let's try to crawl over this direction. Don't mind me. Spider just sliding into them... DMs over here. Hey, what's up? Okay, that's pretty sweet. I didn't think we could do that, so hold on a second. What we can do is we can add a bunch of cannons to the front underside. 
and it'll be like the uh, the spider t fangs or whatnot. Although, putting them on the top might be better too. But however, the thing about putting them on the top is that when the enemies get close enough, it won't be able to aim down. But if we put it at the bottom, it might be able to turn behind it. Like, for example, this one in the front. If a, if a vehicle's attacking from behind, this gun could shoot right behind it. So with the clearance underneath, we do have the possibility of shooting behind us, which is pretty cool. Maybe. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Although I don't want to put three guns in the same place. We should probably mix them up a bit. We'll throw this one in the back for now. We'll figure out if this design actually works. And then we can fortify it and perfect it. Look at that gun in the back. It's turning. Is it going to shoot? Oh, it doesn't look like it's shooting. I might be able to turn and shoot. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. The guns are shooting from the front. Oh, man. We got a design here. All right. So now we've got some Now we got some ideas. Okay. So auto cannons underneath are going to be pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and make sure we've uh, supported those. We need to make sure that the armor that they're mounted to doesn't fall off. That's going to be our next big old crazy billion dollar goal. All right. Let's see if we can... Uh, I don't know what else we can add. Well, let's see. We have radiate. We need cannons. We need some long-range attacks. What happens if they blow your legs off? Legs very difficult to hit and very difficult to destroy in this game. But if they do, then you're down to three legs, and so you kind of walk <laughs> lopsided. But you can still fight. You can you can still fight. It's because they blow your wheels off. You'd be like Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump. All right. Let's see. Okay. We, we put missiles on here. We gotta we gotta armor the top of this thing. Uh, one bad thing that could happen is if you don't armor the top of your vehicle, um, they can get in there with drones and destroy the top. Yeah, there is artillery in the game. Uh, I don't have an artillery piece yet, and I don't know if that would be beneficial for Leviathan. Something we'll have to see. All right, let's start by finishing up the armor of the back end. I feel like we're going to need to put something in these sections here. Maybe small radars for added effect. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hard to fill all pieces of, uh, all spaces. Though having these spider legs come way out like this has given us good clearance for our auto cannons. That's awesome. Yeah, if we add wheels, that, uh, it's not really going to do much. That's, that's going to add to our power score and weigh us down and it might not do anything. We're going to go for legs now. We get a bonus with legs. Oh, hi there, Twin Cam. Yeah, if we lose one, we might go in circles. Yeah, that's right. Okay, um, we have two more... What? Wait, wait a minute, really? We have two more guns to work with? Are you kidding me? We've got so many auto cannons. that's crazy. We can put auto cannons on the top and the front? No way. Hold on a second, let's see how this works. Oh my god. Oh boy. Wow! Woo! Bye. Jeez, that blew up quick. Woo! Okay, so I think we're going to be naming this Spider Bite because it does no nothing but... It's like me with a Rice crispy. Just... Ah! Oh, man. Okay, now I want Rice Krispies. That is pretty sweet. Man, this is going to be big. Put another gun on top. Maybe seven, eight more guns. What do you think, chat? Maybe ten? Hey, we got to remember the booty, though. The booty needs a gun. We need a booty gun. Stitch Yang, thanks for subscribing. Actually, we could put a big old gun on the top, hey, too. Subscriber shout out. Look at this thing. Carson, thanks for... Look at that gun. That thing sits 45 feet off the ground. Look at that thing. That gun literally... Like, we should put an observation deck on that gun. Raphael, thanks for your $1. Putting a little fuel in the tanks. Appreciate that. Oh, right. Because we deleted our radar, it won't be able to see until we get very close. Well, well. Now, actually, to make this thing more, look more like a spider, shouldn't the back end be, like, really big? Don't spiders have, like, a big, big old booty? They kind of do, don't they? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and maybe put the gun mount in the back. Might be able to fire behind. We gotta we gotta fill some of these spaces. 
I feel like Bob Ross of laying down armor. We're gonna lay down a happy hard point right here. Just just a little just a little happy hard point. You know, just don't let the enemy flank you. Just a happy hard point. That's all we need. Right, I'm gonna try to find some more okay, let's try to use all these APC panels first on wherever we're gonna build stuff. We seem to have a good design. We just need to figure out where to, we got so many empty spaces we, we need to fill with armor. So let's try a half wall here. Okay, there we go. Okay, that works. Oops, didn't want that. Uh, yeah, get out of here, you. Oh, wait. I, did, I hope I didn't delete that. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see. So, yeah, do you see how many guns we have on this thing? There's four front-facing guns. We could add another one, a fifth one, to the front. I, th I think we want to go with, like, cannons more than that. And again, it, folks, if you want to download this game, if you're wondering what this is and just tuning hey, in, it's, it's Crossout. Check the description for a download to the free game. Noob Killer, thanks very much for subscribing. You're fantastic. We're going to add cannons to this, too. Not just auto cannons, but big old crazy cannons. Let's finish up the armor. Now, the cool thing is is uh, what I'll do, everybody go ahead and follow me on Twitter, by the way, down below in the description, because what we can do is when we're done building this, we'll, we'll send this off into battle, and it'll go do battle automatically, and then around 24 hours from when we release it, which will probably be in another hour, um, we will uh, find out how well this tank did. Now, if we have to redesign it, or if you guys have any other suggestions, that kind of thing, then we can, we can make changes to it anytime. But I feel like we don't have enough guns on it. So just to show what the ultimate power of this thing could be, Let's just throw all the guns in the world on it, and let's just see what happens if we just load her up with guns. And see what happens when you uh, deploy the spider. Hey, subscribers now remember, we have to get very, very close. Because we don't have a radar at the moment. I'll put that back later. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. All right, we definitely need a radar for sure. So this, this thing can do everything. It fires heat-seeking missiles, cannons, auto cannons. I think there's hey, even a tea maker in the back if it's a British tank. You guys know the rules for British tanks. They all have tea makers in them. It's true. Look it up. All right, let's see. Um, or at least a water boiler. Something like that. Could you put a gun on the top and the bottom and the back? Yep, that's definitely something we can do. That's a good suggestion. We just need to add a little bit more armor around the legs to make sure the enemy can't... Uh, they'll find a weak point, so we need to make hey, sure we cover all of our weaknesses. Daxter, welcome aboard. All right, let's try to put... I'm just trying to find parts that will fit now. That's slowing down production a little bit. I like having the legs. The legs give us a heck of a lot of clearance to shoot under the vehicle. Like, that's something that you probably, nobody would suspect. They're going to drive up behind this thing thinking, oh, there's no weapons in the, uh oh, two big guns turning and burning. It's going to be awesome. This is, uh, yeah, this is a Metal Gear, basically. Doesn't look, uh, it's pretty ugly. Doesn't look pretty, but she'll get the job done. I need to put something here. All right, let's put some stuff on the sides. Quarter walls will fit nicely. Ah, quarter walls are only two. That's good. All right, we'll fill these up then. There we go. I like somebody's suggestion of painting it black and red. That's that's very, very artistic. Whoever whoever came up with that one. That's gonna be good. Okay. We're filling a lot of the holes here. Hey, thanks for being here tonight, too, by the way, folks. I'm, re I'm really, truly enjoying myself. So thanks for coming along for the wild ride of uh, building a spider tonight. I'm sure you didn't expect... <laughs> hey, this guy's building a spider robot or something. Hey, honey, check this out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You should build spiders, too, though. It's really fun. All right, now the problem is if I build a panel back here, it might not be able to shoot directly behind, but the auto cannons underneath should be able to shoot there, so that should be okay. Hello there, David. Good to see you in chat. 
Okay, let's remove the guns for now. We'll put these back on in a second. And I don't like that armor panel. We gotta figure something else out there. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Are these... These are kind of sitting a little... Oh, that's right, because these ones are dropped down onto the, onto the foundation. Okay. We can add some extra armor back here in the back. Is that redundant back here in the back? I think so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, let's get these out of here for now so we can see what we're doing. Drop these panels all the way down. Actually, you know what? Let's just remove this. Oh, wow. That is a huge door. Oh, wow. Okay. It's way bigger than I thought it was. Wow. It doesn't need to be that. Okay, that's, that's too much. Actually, it might not be that bad. Well, I don't know. Would be good to lay these sideways, actually. Cover a lot of space that way. <gasps> Wait a minute, we can put these on top. Oh! Well, there's no perfect spot to drop this over the engine, unfortunately. Wait, ideas. I got ideas. Hold on. Watch it, everyone. Getting dangerous here. Alright, let's see. Um, okay, we're on to something now. Let's throw those... Uh, where were those... Uh, oh, I used all those sloped pieces before. There we go. Okay, the spider's starting to look a little dank and lit. Yes, Ronell, it is looking lit indeed. Okay, let's see. So we can put some guns now, finally, on the top. We can put a gun... Oh, let's put the that big gun tower on the back. Now we're starting to get some ideas here. How did this... Oh, that's right, because it's out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, we can put, throw some cushioning in there. A little extra armor in the back to take some uh, punishment from gunfire. Da, 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 da. There we are. Tru ah, no, no, not truck doors. Ah, quarter walls, not enough of them. Hmm. Oh, actually, this is perfect to put on the front. Actually. Ah, we could put a lot of this stuff down. Hey, subscriber shout out. Uh, T-Bad, thanks for subscribing. A lot of frontal space here. I don't know, we gotta figure out something else to basically uh, fill that in. Gun tower is good, though. We can put it back here. Why, that looks sweet. You know, wait, maybe we could fit the radar. You know, the radar takes a lot of space and is extremely important. Extremely important. If we can drop it in somewhere. You know, if we, could, if we could drop it in in the back, I think actually we don't even have enough room for that, but hold on. If we can encase the radar in armor, that is going to be a huge benefit to our design. All right, let's try that. Seems like we can almost fit hey, it. subscriber shout out. Anuka, thanks for subscribing. All right, let's try to remove armor panels. Okay, not quite. Get rid of these. There we go. Okay, so that thing needs a lot of space, so that's where the booty's gonna go. We need the booty. That booty armor. Okay. Let's see if we can fit some of these back where we deleted before. Oh, perfect. These will fit right here. Okay, that's looking good. We should have two more of these, yep. Yeah. 
Guys, this is looking nice. Hey, subscriber shout out. Looking good, I know. Gamer boy, welcome aboard. Good to have you with us. This is looking cool. Oh, torpedoes, that'd be awesome stock. That'd be nice. Fire like some Well, we can fire air torpedoes in the terms of missiles. I want to make this thing more low profile, but we don't really have much in terms of armor that is the perfect size. Actually, we can drop this down a little bit. Hey, subscriber shout out. There we go. Dion, welcome. Okay, this can come down a little bit. A little more breathing room there. All right, truck door. Drop on top. That's really nothing supporting that. We can get some braces in there to, to lock that down. Oh, wait. Oh, we still have quarter walls. Nice. You know, to be honest... I don't know if we need that engine yet. It only adds two, and we already have 62 points of energy. We don't necessarily need that engine. There we go. Right, let's throw that armor down. Or the uh, ammo. Actually, let's put the ammo in the back. Can we fit that anywhere? Oh, I think we just lay it on the floor. Oh, there. All right, let's throw the thing over here a little bit. Lee Cook, with the $2 heavy hit, saying, awesome game. Well, thank you very much, Lee, for your support. You are an awesome super chatter. Big O, shout out to you for your support. Thank you very much. Hmm. Radar needs a little bit more clearance. All right, we'll figure out the back end in a little bit. Spider, more complicated than I thought it would be. But the ability to stand above the enemy and shoot down and around with the auto cannons is big. And we kind of have a low pro. Oh, look at how look at how it gets bigger in the back, dude. That looks sweet. It's almost. Wait a minute. Hold on. We almost unintentionally made a star destroyer from Star Wars. Except this one's got Imperial Walker legs. Oh my goodness. That is pretty dank and lit. Raphael statewide and Lee Cook. Thanks for your super chats tonight. Appreciate that. Hopefully you're all having a good day too, by the way. It's Monday, I know. And it actually snowed here up in Minnesota quite a bit. So much so that I didn't even recognize my uh, off-ramp. Like I didn't even, I drove right past and I was like, oh my god, I was supposed to get off there. So I had to take the next off-ramp. That's when you know it snows so much you don't even recognize where you are. That, And I'm from Minnesota too, so uh, we're well familiar with snow. It's not like I was surprised to see snow for the first time. It was big O. Make a heli tank? Yeah, you can uh, build vehicles that hover. That is a possibility. Hmm. Strike plates. This radar is going to be a little bit more trouble than it's worth, I think. Though we need we need to encase it in armor. It's going to be the most important thing of this design. Can we uh, throw these things sideways? Oh, we can. Actually, that might be easy to armor there. And it's half hidden by the uh, leg. That's not a bad design there either. Let's uh, throw that up there. I'll drop that in. Okay. A little. There's got to be a way to hide that. There's a little. Th uh, let's get the barrel out. I have a barrel of fun making this uh, side armor. Like the barrels have got to be the most important thing that I ever use in this game. They are so good. They're so awesome. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep building. Hey, this thing is going to get finished. This is, uh, we're doing this. Okay, that one's up one. That one, this one's not mounted to the, oh, it is mounted to the frame. This one's just down one too many. Okay, looks good. Lots of space in the front. The raptor spider, yeah. We're building one. All right, let's take that door off. We got some more components we can put in there. Put a small radar. These are going to be very important 
because you know they're going to destroy one of them. Alright, let's start adding some weapons. Um, could add the fat man to the top. Hmm. Don't like how it looks in the front. <clears throat> it's a little uh, bulky. But it does maintain that spider-like look. So, I mean, it's maintaining that. Radar is so important here. Alright, let's encase that thing and finish up the armor. Let's see what we got going on here. Look at this. It's like taking an hour to build this. Thing. This is the best part of the game is building. <clears throat> and again, if you guys want to build too, check down below in the description. If you're new around these parts, hit that subscribe button too. Your name will pop up. Some of you are not subscribers, and you're going to miss out on some future giveaways we have going up. <gasps> By the way, Raptor forgot to give away his copy of uh, Gold Rush DLC too. So if you're still looking to win that, uh, jump onto the TeamSpeak and make sure you uh, hop on to get your copy of that. Also, I'm going to be giving away some games this week. Hopefully, there's a game called uh, Railway Empire coming out on uh, Friday. And I'm going to be streaming it Tuesday and Thursday. I might be able to give out early access copies. So in order to win that, got to be a subscriber. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what? What if we mount this thing like this? Is hey, there a way? subscriber shout out. Oh, we can do that. Zachary, welcome aboard. Oops. Let's see if we can hey, put the radar this way. Shout out. Yeah, there we go. Some new folks wanting to win some free stuff. Captain RTS, welcome aboard. All right, now there we go. There's a potential. Now we could leave that radar exposed a little bit. Encasing it completely is going to be difficult. All right, door. Flat surfaces will be good now. We will need to uh, throw our uh, cannons on top of that. Hmm. That radar is stopping us from dropping in the door. We got a little spaced armor on either side, which actually might work against missiles. I don't know if that actually works. Big boy gun. Yeah, we got a big gun up there. We're going to be adding more guns, don't worry. Hey, subscriber shout out. Tactical 17, welcome aboard. Alright, let's throw some more stuff down here. Uh, we need some other parts or something. Hmm. Barrels of fuel. Additional engines. I could throw another engine down. Only one engine can be mounted. Okay. So we're limited. We can only have one of those. But at least we got the best one there is. You know, what would be funny is if I threw another... Well, what, if, what if I dropped a big gun in there, and like when they destroy the front of the tank, then suddenly the gun's exposed? Wouldn't that be funny? be hilarious. be like, oops, okay, maybe we shouldn't have blew it up. Can this gun shoot over that gun? Mm, not really. Let's throw the door back on. Alright, let's finish the back end. I'm getting, I'm getting irritated. Hi, Papa Pom. Good to see you there. Hi, Zero Hero. Lee Cook. There is uh, our wonderful sponsor there, Lee Cook, with the wonderful green. Getting access to all of our emotes by being a sponsor. Welcome to you there. And, of course, as... Hey, chat earlier as well. Gage, thanks for subscribing. All right. We gotta finish that big old back end armor. It's good streams, this Tristan. Well, thank you. It's been fun so far. We need some gun platforms too. These two guns aren't gonna be enough. We need more. You know what we can do? Can we drop guns upside down underneath? Not just auto cannons, but I mean big O. <gasps> Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. We can drop guns. Oh, that's going to be cool. It's like an AC-130 now. The plane that flies around in circles and, sh you know, shoots down. Oh man. 
Well, I'm really liking the spider design. That is sweet. All right, we got two big guns on the side, auto cannons on the front, big old guns on the top. You guys want to see it in action? Let's give it a little test. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, just blew that up. Let's do a drive-by with our side gun. Skirt, skirt. Oh, nice. Look at that. Three guns can fire from the side. Oh, man, that is awesome. Sweet. All right, only problem I see is that the auto cannons sometimes can't shoot from the front, but they're defending the front sides front and back too with some of those guns now that is big oh that that we got we got some potential here folks she's got potential now let's see if we can add guns to uh well we gotta add, add some booty guns actually we can put them off the sides uh here let's lift this thing up there we go okay there we go Look at it. It's twerking. Oh, careful. It's a jumping spider. Watch it, chat. Whoa, careful. Everybody take cover. Dreadnought ship. Yeah, well, this is our, like, this is our Imperial Walker Dreadnought Mega Death Machine. I don't know what to call it, but we'll figure that out soon. We still have one more judge to get. And 1957 millimeters. Jeez, that is too many guns. That is, that is a crate. Are you kidding me? We can mount a gun on a gun. Hold on a second. Did you see this, chat? We can literally mount guns on guns. Wow. In case you didn't think that was enough. That's clearly going to fall apart if we do that, but there is a possibility to do this. Oh, man. We got we to gotta figure that out. Maybe I could put a gun on a gun. We could scoot this other gun over. Actually, wait a minute. Let's try to put the hey, 57s next to it. Shout out. Isaac, welcome aboard. Need a lot of space to mount these, but we might be able to do it. Oh, my. Oh, that is that is mean. We are going to be mean. Guns on guns, I know. Don't be jealous, chat. Don't be jealous. I got more guns. Oh, we can drop another one if we delete that side armor piece. Yes. Sacrifice a little armor for a little gun. Oh, my God. Now we got three gu oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. We've got guns on the... Three guns on the side, two on the top. We need... I think we need some more guns. In fact... We're going to scrap the design. I'm just going to build a gun with legs. So that's all I'm going to do. Look at this thing. It's 15,000 power square. Is there a limit? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The destruction. All right. It already killed the first thing before we got out of the garage. Oh, man. Jack Sparrow would be jealous. Wow. Wow. All right, you want to see what it's like if we get attacked by a bunch of little vehicles? All right, let's see what happens. All right, we're going to get attacked from all sides now. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're not even getting close. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, this is sweet. Woo! Come get some, boys. Look at that. Oh, my God, the spider is just unrelenting. Look at that. Hello? Wow, nobody even got close to the spider. Are you kidding me? The enemies couldn't even... <laughs> they blew up before they got close. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so next thing we need to do is... Uh, we need to complete the armor. And I think we're good to go. Our maximum weight is 68,000 kilograms. We're only... Or, yeah, 68,000. We're at 222. Almost 223. And we're not even close to the part limit. Wow. And then we can throw a bunch of decorations on it, too. Folks, we're getting close. Don't like the side armor here. All right, we need to defend that radar. That is the most important thing on this ship, is that that radar. Because if they destroy that, we won't be able to... Uh, we won't be able to fire. Jeez, I wonder if we can just place some upside-down armor or something. Oh, wait, what, why don't we just put guns here? Aw. Requires five more energy. Oh no, we're out. We're out of energy. Oh no, this is all we can have for guns. Oh no, call it the Jack Sparrow. Gun on the back. All right, we're out of energy. I, in order to have an e more energy, I have to put down a generator, and then we have to put down. Can we sneak a generator in here somewhere? 
Let's move this to the side. We gotta we gotta have one more gun, chat. One more gun. One more gun. We're gonna have a more gun Freeman. That's what we're gonna have. Actually, this one will lay down nicely if we put it down here. That'll keep our design nice and compact, I think, if we can... Oh, that, that thing's going to be in the way. All right, let's get that out of the way. And let's back it up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now let's get that weapon cooler back. Uh oh all right, we got to throw another weapon cooler in the back then. Probably not smart for me to have this ammo next to the uh, radar. We'll have to figure out somewhere to put it safely. Hmm, I wonder if we could throw it underneath the truck and no one would see it. Nope, they're going to see it. One more gun. I know. I know. I'm, I'm with you guys. One more gun. I'm, I'm on the one more gun team. All right, maybe we can sneak it there. I don't know. It's probably, it's probably unlikely that they're going to attack the vehicle head-on. I mean, it's got two guns here plus the main cannon that's going to pop on top. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Imagine parallel parking this thing like... Oh! Oh, we cut, we crushed a Camry. Oh! Oh! Minivan. It's just going to, it's just going to cru it's just going to crush everything that comes in its path. Okay, so we've got a um, bunch of guns. We need to... Oh, we have, we have, we have the ability to put one more gun on there. What do you guys want? The Executioner 88 millimeter? <laughs> just a tiny gun off the back. Maybe just just a... Oh, it needs three energy for that one. Darn it. And these take uh, two each, these pyres. Oh, I wasn't even close to being done. What if we dropped it underneath like this? Oh, I don't think we'll be able to do that. Oh my god, we can. Are you kidding me? Oh, this takes three energy too? Darn it. All right, so it's just these, the 57s. Oh, they take five. Oh, wow. Five, five, five. We could put the pulse gun on top, but that's probably not going to work. What about the thunderbolt just underneath? Like, Oh, it'll look like the little uh, mouth of a... Oh, darn it. We need two more energy for that, too. Man, never get to do what I want. We could put a little, uh, I don't know, we could put a little thing on it or something. I don't know. All right, we're at 62 out of 64 energy. I don't know. We gotta figure out a way to uh, throw one more something on there. Oh, I wanted this thing too. What if we got rid of one of these can't? What if we put this on here instead? Wait, that gets it up to 61 out of 64. That gives us three. You guys think we should do another cannon or another auto cannon? I think we should probably do like a. Maybe we should do another. I think cannons are good. Auto cannons just gonna be. Hey, that, that one sits up too shot. high, I think. Uh, late, thanks for subscribing. I think the auto cannon sits up a little too high. Rocket underneath, that would be good. Although I don't know if we have, I don't think we have the point value for that. Rockets here are two points. Oh, that will fit. Okay. All right, let's make sure it's pointed the right way. That's important. Oh, I hope it doesn't hit the ground. All right, let's let's test this. Oh well, it just hit the ground, so that's not gonna work. Okay, so let's try it on the back. Yeah, maybe we could put it off the back side or something. You know what would be nice is if we could launch it off the sides. We need more um, power to do that, though. So that's not going to work. How do I get rid of this grid square? How do I... I must have hit a button. How do we get rid of that? Uh, let's see. Gamepad editor. Game... Oh, where's controls? I want to get rid of this grid. Uh, oh, there it is, F. Okay, it's up top. All right, folks, Metal Gear Spider is almost ready. You subscribe, well, anybody who hits that subscribe button, their name should pop up, so thanks for showing your support. Appreciate that. Truly do. We need to keep the front armor low because vehicles, we need to be able to depress that gun. Maybe I can get another quarter in here. Oh, darn it. All we have is the quarter barrel. Oh, boy. Well, we might be able to pop it up over here. Quarter barrel... I, I tell you what. These quarter barrels will save your life a million times. They're so good at filling in little armor spaces. There we go. She's not pretty, but 
You know, the uglier the better. It's going to scare the enemy off. It's going to be perfect. All right, we got a little little problem there. All right, the backside is definitely going to... Let's finish the front. Backside's going to need some work. Let's finish the front end. Let's see. Oh, the, yeah, the vents. We could use these vents. Uh, don't know. I think these might be able to shoot over that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, so we need that flat end like that to basically uh, give those... Th that front gun needs like 360 trajectory. It can't fire 360, but it's very close. Yes, the link to download is in the description if you're uh, curious to get it. And uh, I'm giving away a DLC for Gold Rush tonight, too, so hop onto our team speak in the description, too. And if you guys want to subscribe, I'm doing some giveaways on a few other games this week and in the future, so, you know, whatever. Even if you're not into my content still try to come join for the giveaway it makes it more exciting too if we have more people to give it away too so anytime you hit the subscribe button again you can uh, come join us live i need something to build this back end with we got a big old back end and it needs to be armored there's a lot of uh there's a lot of space back here we need some big old armor back here uh, ra radar takes takes a lot of space. Ooh, quarter barrels. I see some spots for that. Man, these quarter barrels will save you. Every time. It's cool. These are all, like, made from shipping containers and, like, oil barrels and stuff. It's really cool. My opinion on War Thunder? It's great. I play that, too. I'll probably be playing that later this week or weekend. Tonight. Do you, does anyone hate peanuts? I love peanuts. Peanuts are awesome. Well, the the pre you know shelled actually hey, no the ones that are shelled are good too. Uh, Blade, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. All right, we need to build a uh, some sort of a shield for this uh, radar. It's gonna be the first thing to die if we don't armor it. I feel like we should drop it down. That still doesn't feel right to me to leave that up up high. This radar is such high maintenance. Yeah, if we put it on the side, it needs to sit up high. If we put it on the ground, the problem with it is that we need to um, we need this and a few backup radars too. The advantage of this vehicle is that it gets very good range. Its line of sight is impressive. Uh, if I put a platform on the chassis, that's good for mounting guns. But unfortunately, we're at a high power score right now, or energy score. Wait, hey, subscriber oh, there it is. shout out. Don Harris, welcome. Trying to get a little extra room here. Oh darn it. Radar, get over here. You know, actually, I should buy a different radar. There's a different radar that has a different uh It's a little smaller, more compact would be a good design here. Powerful radar detector. Enemy detection radius of 450. Power energy drain is 1. It's a lot more compact than this one is. Required level 10. Structure is a lot, it's a lot heavier by quite a bit. This is good for a Leviathan. I think this is what we got to go with because this is going to be a lot more compact. And it's only like 3 by 2 Yeah, let's go for one of these. We'll buy one of these off the store. Perfect. All right, that, that'll help our design quite a bit. So what we can actually do is we can put this radar anywhere now to trick the enemy into thinking, oh, we've destroyed his radar. Oh, no, you haven't. That was only one of my mini radars. All right, we'll figure that out in a second. Radar, IDR. There we are. There we go. That's what we want to see. Uh-oh. Oh, we already have two. Let's get rid of that one then. Wait, what? Oh, that other, that other radar doesn't use energy? Hmm. I built a generator. Oh, that one... Ah, oh, I see. This one actually uses energy. Mm. Let's see if the other ones don't. Plenty of use for radar anyway. Oh, this one does... That one uses one as well. Increases enemy radius to 450. 
But this can also detect... Oh, this is 600 meters. Oh, we need that one. We need the big one. We gotta sacrifice a gun. Um, let's get rid of one of those guns. I know. I hate to see it go. But we need that. No, Raptor, why would you do this? Uh, we can't build any more generators. We're at our maximum. Okay, um... So that, that helps with the back-end design. Actually, it'll make it a lot more armored back there, too, which will increase our effectiveness on the battlefield. All right, let's build a uh, let's build an armored chassis there. We'll we'll throw some guns on that in a minute. Let's get rid of those guns. We'll figure out something. All right, let's figure out the back end, and we are good. This is excellent. Let's get that strike panel down. Oh, do you really want to center the car in the garage? No, I'll just leave it. Now, just in case it crashes or something, let's make sure we save over what we've got. Let's go ahead and call this, uh, what, what do we call this? Spider bite? Alright, there we go. That's awesome. Booty gun? Yeah, we're going to have a big old booty gun in a minute. Don't you worry, chat. Alright, now the radar... Actually, this will this will allow us to have a more compact back end. But what we can do is pack anything else in here that we need. So where was that? Uh, we need a radiator. Uh, oh, improve. Where, wait, where did I put that other one? Didn't we have one back here? Oh, here it is. So we can just stack this on top. And pack that behind a bunch of armor. That's the most important thing. That radar is extremely important. And actually, we can put a bunch of small radars on the outside just to help increase uh, the ability to detect. Too bad we can't put anything on the legs. Prime real estate there. Hmm. Well, we could put a radar here. Just in case. Now we want to put it somewhere else. The trouble is we don't want to block the guns. Oh, there we go. No. If we leave these exposed, it gives them something to shoot at and distracts them while they're actually getting killed by the other weapons. So they might think, oh, we've got his radar. So these are more like distractions. It's kind of cool, like a fake radar. Thanks, Twin Cam, for answering all the questions, too. Everybody give Twin Cam a little hello in chat. Where's the rest of our moderators? Uh, Papa Palm in here. Anyone else? Any other moderators? Feel free to say hello. Thank you very much for moderating the chat, answering everyone's questions and such. And again, if you guys have a question, too, that you definitely want me to answer, feel free to drop a super chat, and I'll try to do my best to answer that for you. Great way to say, hey, keep up the good work or whatnot. A lot of people just use it to say, hey, Raptor, love the videos, keep up the good work. So, And I appreciate that. So thank you. Right, we need something underneath here. Can we put a panel that comes underneath? Oh, we can. Ah, we can put a gun underneath there then. Giving that booty a little bit more armor. How much armor do we have in the front? Uh, it's good, but not great. Oh, I forgot. We could have gotten rid of that. So now we should be able to put this anywhere we want. This is another one to trick him, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. That might block shots. That radar is good, but that new improved one is much more compact. That's definitely something we want better. Lee Cook! Love the videos. Keep it up. Well, thank you for your support. You guys are very nice. Love your videos. This is why I don't talk too much. What do you mean, car crazy? Is it because I'm doing all the talking, like usual? I'm always, I'm always chatting it up. Woo! Alright, let's test this thing out.
This thing provides like uh, 360 degrees worth of fire underneath the legs, so even if an auto cannon is blocked, a cannon, these lower firing cannons are perfect because they are very difficult to hit. If somebody fires at these guns and it goes underneath, the explosion might not do as much damage. And it's going to be very difficult to rip those off the chassis without hitting the chassis. Uh, when did I, where do I get my haircut? Um, lawnmower? I think. Alright, we need to, uh, we need to finish this thing up. I'm having a lot of fun building. Alright, let's figure out that booty gun. Alright, so the front end seems good. I think we're, we're all satisfied on that. I mean, it's as good as it's gonna get. I still see some gaps in the armor and stuff, but it's not bad. Let's go ahead and throw this onto the back. Alright, we need something for this. I think it's gonna, unfortunately, come down to these avia slopes, which are these, uh, like, a aviation panels, but... Again, not the end of the world. And we can double up on some of that rear armor. Do we have that truck part two? What did I do with that other truck? Oh no, I put it underneath. Yeah, I don't want that down there. Let's put it up here. This covers a lot of great territory. All right, call it the Reaper. Mmm, that's a good name. Yeah, we're still looking for names. Right now I called it Spider Bite because that sound pretty, that, that was rather lit and dank. All right, quarter barrel. Oh, quarter. Q-U-A-R-T-E-R. -E oh, are we out of quarter barrels? <gasps> we used them all. Oh, what are we on for energy, by the way? Oh, we're at 55 out of 64, so we can still throw another... How many auto cannons can we put on this bad boy? Oh, we can still put two auto cannons on there. Nice. Okay, so we, the booty guns are back in deal. Shotguns for close range. Um, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. We can definitely try to do that. Hmm. All right, let's put the radar down. Let's put the radar behind the uh, radiator. Try to armor that. All this open space. We got to put something in the back. Oh, they do fit here. Interesting. No parts left for radars, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're starting to give everything good longevity. I'm liking this. I'm getting excited. Oh, that can fit perfectly there. Okay. Alright, we're starting to run low on parts. This is where it gets a little nerve-wracking for your design. This is going to be too long, I think. Maybe not. Can I slide this in? All right, get rid of the door. I seemingly can't put it there because of those uh, radars. Okay, truck door then. You can always fit the booty. Yes, there's always room in the booty. Hopefully. Hopefully on this one. All right, now we need some more small pieces. Quarter barrels, I've used you so much that we're, we're out of there. Okay, these narrow wings might work. This is a weird design at this point of just like trying to, <laughs> trying to complete the design with whatever parts are available now. Oh, quarter barrels, I love you so much. Uh, we are at uh, 92 out of 160 parts, so we've got plenty to go. Hmm. Actually, we'll arm it. We'll armor this part separately. Are we out of armor on that? Okay. Black Widow. See, that's a good name. People have been suggesting Black Widow. I do like that. We got we got plenty of names coming from you guys. Keep them coming. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. 
Perfect. And we do legally, guys, though this is a machine designed for killing, we do need taillights. I would hate to be in violation of any international code. So let's go ahead and put the uh, car back end on there. I think we can turn on the headlights too, technically. Let's try to... Uh, chassis parts. Here we are. Where's the back end? There we go. Torino back end. All right, there we go. Perfect. Just hey, in case. Subscriber shout out. Callum, thanks for subscribing. Imperial gunship? Yeah, basically. The fact that it's a car now is hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. All right. So we just need to fill in this little space here, and we are, we are ready to go. Actually, let's get this. Twin slope. There we go. All right, at this point, we're just basically rushing to finish it. Wait a minute. Oh, that one's got to move up one piece. Hey, subscriber shout out. Black Ops Gaming, welcome aboard. Thanks for clicking that subscribe button. Now, there's a little gap there, but sometimes you just got to gotta go with the flow. Actually, that might be better. Okay, we still need a piece to go along here. Hmm. Don't like that. Nah, I don't like that. Don't like that. Hmm. Well, wow, it almost looks like a spaceship. It almost looks like a spider. It's also legally a vehicle. We're registered in the state of Nevada. I do need to. Re I do need to renew our tabs. Uh, let's see. Um. Boy, I don't know. I feel like there's a part for this section here. Plain nose. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's still some gaps in the armor, but I don't know what we can put. Let's try to pull these out of here. Let's see if we can fill the space with something else. I'm awesome. You guys are awesome, too, so thanks for your support. Narrow wing is what we'll use. You know, actually, that's a that's a very thick piece that covers a lot of territory. Oh, dude, that looks unintentionally sweet. Oh my god, I didn't even le mean to leave these things up here. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's big O. Whoo! Look at that, folks. That is looking sweet. All right, let's put a couple of guns on there. Time for the booty. Uh, let's put down some... Uh, now, you guys mentioned the shotgun, but let's try auto cannons. And we have one energy left. Wow. Now, that looks awesome. All right, let's give it a try, and then let's go ahead and give it a paint job. Hey, subscriber shout out. Ewat, thank you for subscribing. Woo! It already immediately eliminated that tank. Alright, front guns not being able to fire sideways. They're not out far enough. If we can put a weapons platform out there. If I can get if I can get those guns out just a little bit, they'll be able to shoot around those legs. Mega Man Ding Dingo? Well, it's not completed yet. It's not yet fully operational. We just got a little bit more design to go. This thing is awesome. And again, if you guys want to download Crossout, check that description. It's free. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. Pop these guns out just a little bit. Mm, it's, hey, only subscriber shout out. it's only on there in three. Cam Man, welcome. All right, let's try another test. There we go. Keep giving me that side shot. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Yes, yes. Yes. Woo! Destroy it. 
Kill it before it lays eggs. Wow, that was pretty sweet. Okay. Now, I think we could do um, a little bit more to add some finesse to this thing. We could probably, you know, <clears throat> perfect a few things. But I think a few days will have to pass design-wise for me to know what needs to get a little bit better on it. Now, this is what we call in America a grocery getter. This is probably what you'd pull up to the uh, Lunds and Byerleys or the Whole Foods in. The trunk space on this thing is tremendous. You just put a few things on this and that side of the V12, perfect. Now, it might heat up your milk and, you know, turn it or whatever not. But you can actually do your cooking on the way home with that giant engine. Yes, good advice is practice on the game for sure. Uh, practice, and you are going to get killed quite a lot. So get used to that and do not worry. Do not feel bad. You are a noob, and so am I, and I've been playing the whole time. All right, let's add a little, uh, like, a little flair to this thing. We gotta kind of spice it up a little bit, and then we're gonna give it a paint job. Actually, should we throw a bunch of exhaust onto this thing for no reason? Gotta have that, gotta have that big old exhaust. Wow, look at that. It's just like a power plant right there. The problem about the exhaust, though, is, and a lot of these pillars that are sticking up, is that it can... If, for example, this gun was trying to aim back here, this is blocking the shot, so it could be a problem. Should be good, sorry. You know YouTube. Okay, we're good. Alright, so... I think everything's looking good. Let's add a little bit of uh, let's add a little bit of flair to it, shall we? All right, there you go. Thanks everyone for telling everyone to refresh. So yes, the problem with these guns is it blocks the shots, so we could probably do without these. But it looks pretty cool, so I guess we'll just leave it as is. You can t you can tell I started with a really good budget here, and then the budget got a little bit worse, and then it was just like yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the back end is just like yeah, just do whatever you can to make it work. So there you go. All right, let's add some. Uh, Let's add some paint here. Let's paint it uh, completely r black, and then I like the idea of like the red stripes. Alright, this is looking nice. Alright, let's try black a little bit more. Now the nice thing about paint too is that it can uh, it can make it harder to see what exactly is a weapon and what exactly is a, uh, you know, what is a gun and what is an, a piece of armor, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I think we're I think we're good here aside from just adding a few more parts for armor. Let's just, uh, I don't know, let's take a look and see where we're weak in armor. I think here we should add some more. Definitely here. Mm. Anything else for everyone to shoot at is a good idea. Okay, that's good. We'll paint that in a second. Okay, let's try... Um... Oh, Lucas, is that your mom? She's a pretty good painter, I see. Alright, let's go ahead and throw... I don't know, radios we don't need. Alright, so it's just going to have to come down to armor now. The color is, is going to be red and... Uh, oh, actually, wait. Let's do this cold flame color. Oh, that is much better. Yeah, that's better. Needs a scope? Uh, I don't think the computer can use a scope. 
Oh, that looks sweet. Now that looks messy and very cool. I like that a lot. So we don't have any more power that we can add. Max speed. Oh, now we have to add some stuff for the reputation bonus. We do need to walk out of here like a pimp. So we may as well throw on 16,000 exhaust for no reason. Because you need the exhaust, you know. All right. Boom. Deploy it. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. We just got to add some flair. She's got to look sweet. Now, who would want to drive this? I think she gets about a city block per uh, per gallon. So not, not too bad. I like how we can literally just put exhaust wherever. Anybody anybody want to take her out on a on a drive? Bring a young lady or young fella out on a date with the uh, with the Spider Mobile. Dude, Spider Man's gonna be jealous when he sees what I got for a new whip. Man, Spider Man gonna be crying. All right. Oh man, look at all that exhaust. Okay, as if we didn't have enough, but yes. And actually, the nice thing about these is that it could be mistaken for a gun too. So players may accidentally shoot at the uh, exhaust, thinking, "Oh, that's got to be a gun." We got to put a little, little, little mouthpiece on this thing. Oh, I can't put. Yeah, this just adds extra points. Let's throw it onto the back. Oh, come on! Do we not have any space for like one little set of horns? There we go. I don't know if this does anything, but I just like decorating. Devil's Bane. Yeah, we're <laughs> we are doing really... This is great. I like this. Okay. Mm. At this point, all we gotta do is just add lighting to look cool. Did I space that armor? Yeah, I did. Okay, that looks right. Okay, tail lights. Just a little extra set, just in case. Oh, that won't fit there. There we go. All right. Some headlights, just in case. Hey, subscriber shout out. Just in case we happen to be out at night. Flame boys, thanks for subscribing. Any of that nighttime driving. The headlights do work. Check it out. And if we uh, tap the space bar, you can see the lights work out. If we're going to hook up... Anybody, we're going to haul a boat down to the lake. Could you imagine hauling a boat down to the lake with this thing? Look at this. Look at this thing. This is awesome. Yeah, the exhaust, I know. We're rolling coal, baby. People are telling me to add a spoiler hey, chat. Subscriber shout out. Chat, no spoilers in chat. Come on. You got it. don't don't ruin it. Duperman, thanks for subscribing. Alright, we can throw on a spoiler. Yeah, we want it. We want to keep the. Uh, we don't want her to lift off the ground, you know. We w we wouldn't want her getting too fast. All right, I don't know. I can't really put anything down for that. We got all these extra headlights. Again, this just gives us like extra reputation, but I don't know if that applies in mult in the uh, Leviathan mode. We're about ready to release this thing, so get ready. Just adding some more lights for safety. For safety. Um. Can I add a set of lights underneath? Well, what the heck. There we go. Nope, I can't. All right. Hmm. Maybe on the back. OK. 
Okay, I guess. All right, that'll light up our horn at night, I guess. I guess. All right, a couple bed rolls just in case anybody wants to do some camping. Oh, actually, wait. Why don't we just put the horn up there? Gas or diesel? Where is the grill guard? Uh, this is gonna be. Uh, this is electric. This is electric motor. You can tell by all the uh, pure diesels, like literally fire coming out of the back end. Well, let's see. Thanks again, uh, Lee Cook, for your support. A big super chatter, so I appreciate your support. Exhaust or non-symmetric? Do we have a do we have a problem with the exhaust? He's right. Oh my god. Alright, we should probably make this one a little off kilter because that looks sweet. Thank you for catching that. Alright, we're looking good. Let's save it again. Just in case. Spider Bite is now up to 17,000 points. Alright folks, we're almost ready to deploy this thing, but before we do, I'm just going to add a little bit more flair. Just a little bit more. For no reason at all. Serves no purpose. And if you want to build your own Leviathan, you can download Cross Out down below in the description. You can make a happy little armor plate here. A little deflective shield there. It's your armored vehicle. You can do what you want. Wow, that looks sweet. Oh, we have two more of these. All right. Look at the painted reds. Do we, we do we have a problem with the paint job? Is the paint job okay? Barrel quarters are red. Paint job looks fine. Why did I name myself Raptor? Because it sounded cool. We'll see. Maybe one day someone will think I'm cool. Let's paint this thing red all the way down the center. No, paint this thing. There we go. Does that look cool? Hmm, looks pretty cool. Yeah, we're just a happy armored slope, that's all. I think you're cool and I'm old, does that count? Uh... Well, I don't care how old you are, you can always entertain... Be entertained by, uh, any sort of, uh... Uh, there's no, like, age limit on YouTube, whether you're 100 watching Mario videos or you're 17 learning how to knit. It's a place for anybody. Okay, so I think this is good. We have one more power point to, set, uh, to spend, and I don't know what we could spend it on. I feel like we could put something down. One of these machine guns has got... Wait, I think even machine guns are worth two. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately... I think the only other thing we can put down is like a, um, I think the only other thing we can put down is the radar. Yeah. And I don't even know where we can put that. I don't even think that would fit. Can we just put it on the front end? Ah, I like, I like the car end on there. It's too funny. It literally looks like we took a, uh, a car and just like welded it in half and then just <laughs> put a spider in the middle of it for no reason at all. all right, actually, we might be able to put this one here. Well, let's put that there. It'll give them something to shoot at, and they'll think it's uh, they'll think it's that radar. Oh, dude, look at that! All right, let's let's fire up. What do you think, folks? Do you think this is a winner here? Do we have something cool? Is this uh, is this nice? Oh, hi there, David Fleming. Thanks for your two dollars. Thanks for saying hi. Can you put spikes on the legs? No, but that'd be cool. Right, let's make sure we save spider bite. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, test drive it one last time. Let's turn on the headlights. For safety. There we go. Wow. Get him, David. Fire them rockets. Now that is a model of our own um, creation, so. Alright, let's see if enemies attack us, what would happen. 
We're surrounded from all sides. What's going to happen? One of the reds isn't flame red. All right, let's take a look. Which one is it? I guess I can't tell. I like those little hanging pieces. They look like uh, kind of sloped armor. By the jets? All right, let's fix that then. Jets. You mean the exhaust? You mean these things? Well, let's, let's make sure. Paint is very important, I guess. Cold flame. Here we go. Uh, left side quarter barrel on the top. Left side meaning this one or this one. Oh, that, that one. Okay. We got the quarter. The barrels are good. Did I get it? This, uh, the slope armor? I think we got it. Oh, make the guns black? Oh, should we make them red? Oh, the, gun, the guns are black. Oh, the, the top gun you want black? Okay. All right, I think that looks good. All right. What do you think, folks? Should we release her into the wild? Are we good to go? This is uh, one... Uh, let's see. This is... Uh, 1,700 points. 1,7410. Front quarter barrel. Are you sure? Hey, subscriber shout out. No, that seems to be right. Slobman Bliet, thank you for subscribing. Ah, whatever. Paint job's good enough. Let's release it into the wild. Everybody ready? Let's count down from five. Four, three, two, one. Good luck. There goes the spider. All right, she's out on battle. So it'll return in 24 hours from today. Uh, so basically tomorrow this time, go ahead and watch on Twitter, and uh, we are going to um, basically see how she did in battle. Hopefully she wins two battles. This thing is awesome. I'd like to fight against it myself. Two front guns, two rear guns for auto cannons. Uh, three guns on either side, 76 and 57 millimeters, plus two. What I think is 76 is on the top. Full rotation. I think those are 76ers. Pretty sure. They look they look like the same gun. Very nice. All right, everyone. That is it for tonight's stream. Again, if you guys enjoyed what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. Additionally, uh, thanks to all of our super chatters and all of our sponsors. You folks are awesome, so thank you very much for being here. A Papa Pom, a Circle 7 to you. Twin Cam, a Circle 7 to you. Anyone else here, thank you very much for your support. If we're going to make any changes, we can do it tomorrow. So I will see you all soon. Download Cross Out for free in the description. War Thunder for free in the description. And Call to Arms for free in the chat. Three free games for you, and I'm going to do a giveaway here tonight of our Gold Rush DLC. So you got to jump on the TeamSpeak right now. I'm going to do the giveaway in about five minutes or so. Or maybe I'll stream again later tonight. I, I don't know. I could play some Gold Rush again. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll see you all soon. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Good luck to our Leviathan, and I will see you all tomorrow for the results. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. Remember, follow me on Twitter to know how she did. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, Eat. Goodbye, David and Stock. Declaren. Also, uh, Sam. Good night to you, Arissa, Aaron, James, and Zachary. I hope you all have a good one. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Super duper man. You have a good one. Bye. See you, Quentin. Take care, everyone. See you tomorrow.